at the Minster Building, we've really completely transformed what was uh, the entrance sequence to the building overall. The previous way of getting into the building had quite a small reception for such a large building, 250,000 square foot of commercial space. We moved the entrance onto the corner of uh, Mincing Lane. We ended up creating a, a quite a large reception space. The entrance space, which is now called the Boulevard, um, we always knew was going to be double height, and big enough to drive a bus through. And we knew that we were going to lead into then an atrium space, which is eight storeys high. We wanted to create a muted palette. We're in a location which is going to attract a high quality tenants, and so we want high quality palette materials. We've worked with Armour Coat before on a number of projects and we knew the quality of the product and therefore we knew we wanted to use it. We knew we wanted to complement some of the other materials such as the terrazzo and the jesmonite with the polished plaster that was going to go on the walls. Because of the, the type of materials we were looking to bring in such as terrazzo, we wanted them to ensure that the acoustics of the space worked perfectly. So we did a lot of work with the acousticians and with Armour Coat early on in the design process and throughout the construction process to just ensure that the product we were putting then onto the ceiling, A, was acoustically rated to make sure that we could absorb the sound that was going to be uh, kind of bouncing around in this space, but also that that ceiling and that material was the quality that we wanted from, for the architecture. So that definitely drove us in terms of specifying armour coat for this project and we think it works brilliantly really for the final product. I think within these sort of spaces there are always going to be architectural design challenges and one of the aspects that we had to work with the architect very closely on is how the ceiling is perceived and for instance how we can apply our products within any given period of time. It's no secret that when you're working on a project, program is of the essence, you need to make sure the installation is done in a fast and timely manner. And within this space being so large, we had to work off a scaffolding deck. It was decided to break the ceiling into manageable portions. And in this situation, we used back-to-back -back stop beads, which provided us with day joints where we could stop and start the finish on a daily basis. But even using those, we did finish very large areas up to around about 150 to 200 square metres within this particular space without any joints whatsoever. The other aspect about this space, which is, which is very exciting, is the lighting. The detailing around the lights is critical. And we came up with a solution in this particular building whereby we made specialist patrices which sit within the acoustic plaster ceiling itself which gives the M&E guys and any of the electrical installers an opportunity to screw fix heavy fixings directly into the ceiling. The acoustic plaster system in this building is complemented by the polished plaster that we have applied across the walls. We had our team of specialist installers come to site and they skimmed the walls in the main entrance area and also the rotunda walls in a very fine grade marmorino finish. We call it Armuralia. We were very happy with Armour Coat on this project through the design process and through the actual construction process. We were very helpful and the, we're very happy with the final quality of the material. Everybody who's come to the building loves the building. Whether it's staff, whether it's visitors, whether it's people that are going to be working in the building, they walk in here and we've only heard positive feedback. And I think the finishes for the building um, the polished plaster and the ceiling play a, a huge part of that.